I welcome you to the 2023 edition of our Lenten broadcast accompanied by the Diocese of Lagos Mainland Anglican Communion. My name is Okechuku Okonkwo. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we pray this morning that you open our eyes that we may behold the wondrous things in thy words through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The, the topic for, the, for our meditation this morning is righteousness and redemption. And our text is taken from Romans chapter 3, verse 23, and I read, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Righteousness is simply explained as having a right relationship with God. Man naturally has been striving to have a right relationship with God after the fall at the Garden of Eden that rendered every man a sinner, thus falling short of the glory of God. Man needed to be reconciled with God. God gave man some set of rules to keep and live by, which we call the Ten Commandments. But man does not have the enablement to keep these laws. So it is not possible for, to attain righteousness before God by keeping these laws, because man is not able to keep them, even as man continues to, to try. God, in order to redeem man, gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die upon the cross, for the redemption of man, so that whoever believes in his name will not perish, but have everlasting life. It is only a redeem, in a redeemed state that man can worship God acceptably. So anyone who wants to have a everlasting life should accept by faith the justification by grace through redemption that came through Christ Jesus. No one can be justified by keeping the law or doing good works, but by grace through faith in Christ Jesus. Salvation cannot be attained through good works or keeping the law, good as this may be, but by accepting by faith the concluded works of Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary. Jesus, who knew no sin, had to shed his blood to redeem us sinful men. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, Heavenly Father, because you are dependable. Our God and our Father, give us the grace to live in righteousness and to cling unto Jesus all the days of our lives that we may make heaven at last. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.